Guys, Apple went ham and dropped three big product updates, all centered around the M5 chip. You got a brand new 14 inch MacBook Pro, you have the new iPad Pro and new Apple Vision Pro. Let's break down what's new, who each one is for, and whether or not it is worth your money. Let's get into it. First up is the 14 inch MacBook Pro with M5. We have the same design as last year, same form factor, but this refresh might just be the new standard for some people. Now the M5 chip isn't all about raw speed, it's about power and efficiency. You get more performance, less heat, and even longer battery life. And if you're still holding on to that Intel MacBook Pro, well, it's been a long time, but you know, hey, listen, bless you. This is gonna be your moment because you are looking up to 24 hours of battery life. That's 14 more of video playback compared to your current 13 inch Intel model. There are huge improvements across the board that will boggle your mind. You get faster IO, you get a brighter liquid retina display and quicker internal storage. And if you're on the M1, M1 Pro, or even the M1 Max, it's still gonna be a significant leap forward for you. You're getting better thermals, more and faster IO, MagSafe, MagSafe 3 fast charging, as well as Apple's most capable neural engine. So at $1,599, I think that this is the perfect laptop if you're in college, you're studying STEM, or you're a creator looking to get access to better tools. It's a good laptop. You get the same build, same ports, same high-end screen as the flagship models just at a much more approachable price. Now I plan to compare it against the base configuration against the M4 MacBook Air, as well as my M4 MacBook Pro. So get subscribed if you wanna see that comparison. But the bottom line, I think the 14 inch MacBook Pro M5 is gonna be the new default MacBook, more so than the MacBook Air. Next up, it's the iPad Pro. And this one is squarely aimed at owners of older iPad Pro who are ready to make the jump. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Mike, why do I need to upgrade my old iPad? handles Netflix just fine, and that's a fair enough question, but if you're on a 2018 or even a 2020 iPad Pro with the A12X or the A12Z, this is your moment. You finally get proper external display support with real multitasking. You get the best display on any tablet, and the Apple Pencil just kind of cohesively pulls all the features together, making it a great experience. And if you're coming from the M1 iPad Pro, you're gonna notice a brighter, fully HDR tandem OLED display, better speakers, faster storage, and smoother AI-driven performance for your all AI things. Now, can you play Wordle any faster? No, the answer is probably not. But what you can do is you can have more apps open with more Safari tabs open without needing to reload, and that, to me, is gonna be priceless. Now, if you're the owner of an M2 or newer, especially last year's M4 iPad Pro, I would definitely skip it. That's not worth the small improvements unless you have a specific use case, like needing access to faster storage, more storage, networking, or even upgraded cellular. Now, speaking of cellular, I always go with cellular. Having an always-on internet connection makes the iPad Pro just much more usable in the data use cases. Comment down below if you're getting an iPad with cellular by dropping the dolphin emoji. Finally, let's talk about Apple Vision Pro with the M5. It's the same design, same price tag, still $3,499, but you're gonna get smoother, more efficient computing. It brings faster neural engine, improved graphics pipeline, so everything feels snappier from spatial photos to personas. Battery life also stretches just slightly. There's a new dual band knit that is compatible with other existing accessories, which if I was buying one, I would get that, uh, that headband today. But without a doubt, it is an incremental update that keeps Apple's spatial platform current. More polished, not a revolution at all. And unfortunately, if you have an M2 Apple Vision Pro, you can't even turn it in as a trade-in on Apple's website. But what is the big picture here? Well, Apple is aligning all of its Pro devices around the M5 chip, MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and Apple Vision Pro onto a single silicon backbone for AI, graphics, and efficiency. But that isn't Apple necessarily reinventing itself, it's tightening the ecosystem so that every Pro device can handle the same set of next generation workflows. And if you wanna see in-depth testing, real-world benchmarks, and hands-on, make sure you get subscribed. I've ordered both the MacBook Pro and the iPad Pro. Unfortunately, no, no Apple Vision Pro, that's just not my thing. But they'll be here next week. My name is Mike, and guys, I'm out of here.